Wemmel writes, I don't have embellishments to put on empty spaces of my layouts. Actually, I just don't have many embellishments. I have some very basic embellishments and leftover pattern paper too, but I don't know how to make use of these leftovers to create embellishments for my pages. Glitter Girl, can you help Beck Wemmel embellish without embarrassment? Of course I can. One of the easiest ways to embellish your pages without spending lots and lots of money is to use your pattern paper as much as possible. And double-sided pattern paper makes that a lot easier today because for every sheet that you buy, essentially you're getting two patterns. And you'll find that you can mix patterns and take away the need for lots of extra embellishments that might cost more money. So if your style just isn't as bulky as all the extras that you can add on or you need to be able to get an embellished page without spending lots on pre-made embellishments pattern paper is definitely your friend so there's lots of brand new pattern paper in the shop this week and I wanted to show you the new collections from Lily B design there are four collections so I'll just um, take a quick look through these this first one is called double dutch and it's kind of based on primary colors but it's not childish or um, uh, toddler style or anything like that. So it has a nice navy, it has some green and some yellow and some red. Here's all the b-sides, so there's lots of gingham, which is great for layering and filling in gaps and all sorts of things because it's, um, it's, not, it's not very busy. And it's also possible to write on a gingham because it has that line to it. So that's double dutch. Oh, and here are the solids. They have the polka dot, like the blue. So that one's called Double Dutch. This one is handmade. This has slightly cooler colors, so an aqua and a lighter green. A paper like this that has so much pattern, you definitely don't need lots of embellishment with because there's so much to catch your eye anyway. And one sheet of this can go a long way. You can cut it into strips, into boxes. You can get quite a lot from just one sheet of pattern paper. And here in the solids in this collection are the aqua, and a white, and a pink. And so the backs look like this. Again, the solids have polka dots. And then a variety of subtler b-sides here, quite a lot dealing with different dot formations and then some florals and one that's a bit more ornate as well. So that's handmade. This one is Victoria Park, which has some more flamboyant designs. So damasks and hexagons and bird cages, but then also some polka dots. This one that's a bit of a lacer doily print. And then the solids again, so pink, green, and black in this collection. And then the B sides, the solids again have the polka dot. And this great frame print that is again something you could use without a lot of embellishment because you could cut these apart or you could put things behind them on top of them a floral, some geometrics, and this tiny little chevron variation there. So that one is called Victoria Park. And the last one is my favorite. It's called Buttercup, and it has a really specific um, color palette, and it's yellow, gray, and teal, or turquoise. All sorts of different patterns in that color combination. see the solids there. There's a gray, a turquoise, and a yellow. We turn these over and here are all the b-sides. So this little text polka dot here, which is quite sweet. Yeah, so those are four new collections and I'm going to um, create this week's layouts with Lily B pattern papers and without pre-made embellishments and show you a few different techniques for how you can um, make that happen without needing to buy lots of extras. But keep in mind that if you do want a few little extras, there are of course stickers, letter stickers, all sorts of little index cards and, and good things that go along with each of these collections. So if you do want embellishments, there's that too. You don't have to be um, 
you don't have to be working with just paper today. But I'm going to go ahead and get started with some ideas for creating your embellishments out of just pattern paper. For this first page, I'm going to use the Lily B Double Dutch Collection, and I'm using the navy blue solid with the polka dot and side for my background. And then I'm going to use three other patterns from the collection, a yellow dot, the um, green rickrack or wave, and the aqua and red floral, and a sheet of white cardstock. And I have two 4x6 photos that I want to use on this page, and I'm going to start by using the white cardstock to create a mat, but it's not going to go just around the pictures. I'm going to start by matting the photos on the white cardstock, but I'm not going to use this just as a photo mat. I'm also going to place some of the pattern paper on the same cardstock background and then cut the whole thing to fit. But I'm going to start with the photos so I know how big to make the rest of the page elements. All right, so I know I want to use this space for pattern paper, but I won't be using this part. So I'm going to go ahead and crop this part off. So now I'm just dealing with this side, and I know that I want this side to be somewhat smaller because I want this to fit on my background card sheet with some space all around. So I'm just kind of uh, looking to see where I want to trim that background. And that gives me a size that I know will fit in the middle of the page and will give me room to, to include everything that I want to have on the page. So now I want to fill this empty space here with pattern paper. So this is going to be my embellishment. And I just need to set the background aside and decide what size these pattern papers need to be cut to. So I'm just going to do the same process here. I've cut a range of strips that are this, the right width to fill this space here and leave an even uh, amount of cardstock showing. And then in one inch strips so I can fill this space with the pattern paper. Just by alternating the patterns. Perhaps put the flowers right side up. So that's the basic idea of starting this page. So I'm going to go ahead and adhere all of those down. And then I can transfer this whole um, unit over to my background page to finish everything. From here, I have everything stuck down. And then I can add my title, my writing, and embellishment. And I'm not going to use any pre-made embellishments, just things that I can make from the pattern paper in the collection. I've adhered this slightly above the center point of the page so that I have more room here so that I can add my writing to the page straight onto the background sheet. And I'll just do that with a white pen in the space at the bottom. And I want to add my title and something to kind of dress this up and have it not just be a, a line of, of different uh, pattern paper strips. So I'm going to start with something really basic and that's a circle and I'm just going to use a circle punch and if you have a circle punch or die that's easy way to start with embellishments made with paper but if you don't have those tools don't worry because you could always trace it and cut it um, from anything in your house that's round. You can trace all sorts of glasses and plates and, and such in your cupboard and and it'll work out. So what I want to do is have a shape that's large enough to go over more than one or two of the strips so that I can start to bring this part of the design together. I've started with one circle and cut part of it off and went ahead and inked that extra edge and attached that with pop dots and then added my title in letter stickers just spelt um, backwards so that I could get the spacing right and I and just checked before I started to make sure that there wasn't anything important. I obviously don't want the the photos to go or the stickers to go over his face, but I don't mind it here in the empty space of the photo. So, um, and if you don't even want to use uh, pre-made stickers or anything like that, you can 
you can trace and cut, you can use any other sort of lettering, you can use stamps, whatever you like, but if you've been watching you'll know that I tend to use letter stickers for almost all of my titles. It's definitely my personal favorite. So I've gone ahead and started with that and I want to add some embellishment on top of this circle, but again sticking with the pattern paper. So what I've done is cut a small square from the um, this blue floral print with the red on the background so you need a double-sided pattern for this and it needs to be cut into a square and then if you are inking the other patterns on the page go ahead and ink both sides of the square and from there you'll just need your scissors and a brad and what you want to do is go to each corner and cut almost to the center but not quite So the center will stay solid, but you'll end up with these four triangle shapes that make up the whole square. Then take a bit of adhesive and add that to the very center. And you can go back and ink all of these edges you've just cut as well. So you have these four quadrants in triangle shapes and you want to fold in until the center sticks and you're folding one side, always the same side, it doesn't matter if it's the right half or the left half. And the trick is to not smush, that's a very technical term there, smush, but to not um, crease that, to leave it rounded. And don't worry too much about this adhesive not being in completely the right place or anything right this second because you're going to put a brad on top of it to hold it all down and then you have a pinwheel shape. Then you can add the brad right through the middle and provided it's not a super teeny brad the space of the brad will catch all those edges and hold everything into place. So if you're putting this straight through the pattern the pattern paper background then you could go ahead and use the brad um, to go all the way through all the layers but I want to add it on top of this which is already on foam squares so I'm just going to flatten it out and then adhere it with my normal adhesive So a super easy embellishment that looks like something that you might purchase in a pack, but instead just made from a tiny little square of pattern paper. And then you can repeat that same idea with different um, shapes and sizes. So I have a pinwheel made from a slightly larger square of pattern paper. And this one is going to go right through, so I can go ahead. punch it right through and if two isn't enough then I could come up to the top and I have the remainder of that circle that I cut off to um, to stay on the grid there so I can add that to the top here and then perhaps another um, embellishment up here to something very tiny, perhaps another one of these brads to make a group of three. But it's actually, um, it's just fine if you want to just have two and put the journaling here. It just depends on your style as to how much of, of that embellishment you want to add repeating across the page. Here's my finished page. I've added my writing with a gel pen just um, a little bit to the top and then most of the story at the bottom. I also added some silver brackets from that same Amy Tangerine sketchbook thicker set just to pull a little bit more up here and added a tiny little um, pennant just cut from that same pattern paper with another brad. So there's still um, enough embellishment and quite a lot of pattern going on that I wouldn't want to add anything else to the layout. But nothing here is something fancy bought in a package. It's just the little scraps of the pattern paper and you could do these sorts of embellishments with things that you already have left over from other projects. Just a few brads and a few squares of pattern paper to create some embellishments in no time.
Another really easy way to get embellishments from your pattern paper is to choose patterns that can be cut apart into separate images. Floral patterns work really well because you can cut out a flower and use it at, instead of a die cut. And in this case with the Lily Bee collection, these little bird cages can easily be cut out and then added in as embellishments. So you could um, cut one or several and then be able to um, scatter them around the page with the other colors and the photos that you would like and you could then use punches or stamps to add something uh, additional to the birdcage design if you wanted. Earlier this week I posted this layout which mostly relies on pattern paper but does use some of the more expensive embellishments in this sheet of chipboard which comes as a big 12 by 12 sheet and I wanted to give this same sort of design a try but without any sort of extras just using the pattern paper for embellishment. So I've recreated this similar sort of design with one large block and then a grouping of pattern paper accents up here in the top corner. Except this time I'm just using pattern paper as my embellishment. So I started with that bird cage from the Victoria Park Lily B paper and this large box is the B side, the other side of the same pattern paper. Then I've used both sides of the pink polka dot pattern paper. This is the other side which is turquoise and pink and then I used the solid which has the um, very subtle polka dot on the back. This little sheet here is from that same bird um, birdcage paper. I just cut the lines in between the bird cages so that I could repeat the color on the on the diagonal. And then I used two four by six photos to take up that big space in the middle. I have plenty of room here for writing. I have plenty of room here for title, and then some um, space where I could add further embellishment if I wanted. At this point, all I've added to the original design are the letter stickers and my writing. And in fact, I'd be quite happy to leave this page as it is and not add any further embellishment. So it's a page that comes together quite quickly. It still has plenty of color. It follows the design elements of having multiple places to look on the page and them all being connected on a diagonal. And um, it doesn't have anything that comes pre-made or, or expensive in a pack and I have used letter stickers because that's what I use but you could easily substitute any other kind of lettering for the title if you needed to be thrifty there as well and on the other hand you could add more to this page and there are plenty of ways to add more embellishment here without needing to buy any separate embellishments so I could come back and add stitching either by hand or my or the machine to all these different little pieces of paper and stitch them into place. I could invest in a set of stamps that I really liked and stamp a few little things here and there and that's something that I could repeat on lots and lots of pages so if it was a set that I really really liked that might be a good investment even if my um, scrapping budget was needed to stay really small. Um, I could add things that I might have even if I haven't bought them specifically for scrapbooking like buttons or maybe just a few brads here and there and using those ideas I'd be able to find all sorts of different ways to add just a little bit of embellishment and not have to worry about um, all sorts of different things that come in a package and, and drive the price of your order up. Join us next week for the continuing adventures of Glitter Girl and the ongoing mystery of the scrapbooker behind the mask at twopeasinabucket.com.